All right, so my friend Dana me an email and she says, make sure you're checking your labels. And we've talked about this before, but make sure when you guys are buying chicken, you look for this, hatched, raised, and harvested in the USA. If it does not say hatched, then you will know that it is lab grown fake meat. So make sure you guys are looking for that word hatched. Anytime you buy chicken, whatever kind of chicken it is, it should have the words hatched on it somewhere. So here we go over here, you've got it. So just make sure you guys are paying attention to that when you're out and about buying chicken, looking at chicken, things like that. It won't say it for beef, obviously, but anything else, you should see the words hatched and hopefully raised, but definitely hatched. So here's the issue though. Looking for the word hatched is definitely necessary so that you know it is real chicken. But the problem is real chicken doesn't always mean that it's good chicken. I don't know if you guys have seen the pictures that are rolling around and videos that are rolling around social media and stuff right now. Um, I myself have been a victim of this, I guess is the right word to use victim of this. And I'm sure numerous of you out there have experienced this as well, where the chicken that you buy, it says hatched, it says harvested, it says raised, it says all this other stuff, you know, in the USA. And you're thinking to yourself, this is great. At least it didn't come from China or Mexico or any other countries. It's, you know, homegrown, right? So you're excited about it. You get it home and you, you go to take out the chicken breast. Let's say you got a package of chicken breast, whether it's from Walmart or it's Kroger, it's Publix, Fred Meyer, Aldi, it's any of these other places. You get it home, you take the chicken breasts out and you go to maybe thin them or tenderize them or do whatever it is you're going to do and you pull it back or you get cutting and you're like, why does it look like this? Why does it look like some sort of weird mutation has happened to this chicken? And a lot of us are having this happen and it's putting a lot of people off of buying chicken lately. I, I've talked to numerous people. I've had numerous people in the comments who are like, I've quit eating as much chicken. I don't eat as much beef. I've been eating more vegetables, more grains, more stuff like that, less meat. And I'm telling y'all right now, this is the direction that we're supposed to be going according to um, Bill Gates and the government and everything else when it comes to climate change and cow farts and chicken coops and all this other stuff. They want us to go away from the meats. They are willingly, knowingly over plumping, I think is the right word we're going to go with here, over plumping these chickens. They are, their, their growth hormones are ridiculous. The, 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 the amount of meat these birds are putting on their bodies in a record time is causing so many issues with the meat itself once we get it. Once we go out there and purchase it, take it home to eat, and it's disgusting, it's gross, and we have now wasted money. Now we're grossed out by the chicken and we don't want to eat it. We are wary of buying it again. It's not a good look. There are people that are worried about the, um, the ABC, um, that's go I don't know how to phrase it, the ABC that's going into foods. Um, it starts with an M, ends with an A, has an R and an N in the middle. Okay, we'll go that route. And a lot of people are worried that this is now going into foods, especially into our meat supply, because it has been talked about with lettuce and other products and going into pigs and other things like that. And if that is what is causing these chickens to have this, this texture, this, the, this gross, stringy, just inedible parts to it, I think we should be told ahead of time. I think packaging should tell you hatched, <laughs> raised, pro pro produced or whatever packaged in the USA, but also should say, hey, side note, also filled with this and give us all the details so we know exactly what we are buying and exactly what we are consuming. It's never going to happen. And this is why a lot of people want to grow their own everything from their own fruits and vegetables to their own meat sources, whether it's chickens, it's cows, it's whatever else. It's really hard to do for a lot of people whose HOAs don't allow anything like that, who's, uh, who live in apartments or who don't have the ability to do stuff like that. But the more you see these pictures and things going up on social media and these videos going up on social media of these gross, inconsistent meat products, the more you're going to be turned off by it and try to find a way to figure out how to grow your own chicken. I'm like, can, can I have chickens in the bathroom? Like, is there a way to just grow chick, like house chickens in a bathroom? Cause I can't do it here in the apartment. There's gotta be some sort of way. I order all of my stuff from butcher box and I have had zero issues with the chicken. It's been absolutely amazing. And I am terrified that one day I'm going to run out of chicken and I'm gonna have to go out to a store and buy some and I'm going to get it home again. And it's going to be that spaghetti veiny, gross, just 
uh, stuff, which is the whole reason I started Butcher Box to begin with, is because I was tired of going to the grocery store. Sam's Club, notorious for it. Walmart, notorious for it. Um, not so much at Whole Foods. I never had that issue. Publix, I never had that issue. Uh, I don't have an Aldi's close to me, so I haven't been there for that. And I don't have Trader Joe's or anything like that around here. Uh, but I was getting chicken and noticing every time I was throwing at least one or two chicken breasts away because that stringy, that that sinewy, I don't know if that's the right word, muscly, just grossness, it freaked me out. And I was like, I can't feed this to my family because I don't know if this is okay or not. I don't know if this is something that means there's something wrong with the meat itself, wrong with the chicken itself. So it's a lot of wasted money. And we're seeing it more and more and people are noticing it now because it's getting worse and worse. So to me, because y'all know how my brain thinks, Squirrel Tribe, if you've been here before, you know how my brain thinks. My brain is going, oh, this is how they get you to welcome that lab-grown cell-cultured chicken because it's not going to have those muscle issues, those, those spaghetti string kind of whatever's in it. You're not going to have... <clears throat> shalom, shalom. All praise and glory and honor is to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, and Shalom, Labakarium, Shor, Yasharala. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who were well. This is a, a public forum. Um, fair use, fair use under the 1976 Fair Use Copyright Disclosure Act of 1976 all right this is for educational purposes only i'm not getting paid for this all right this information was found in a public forum a public forum on social media it's public so i know how you edomites get down anyway let's read ezekiel 4 and 12 prepare and eat this food as you were bar as you would barley cakes while all the people are watching bake it over a fire using dry human dung as fuel and then eat the bread then the lord said this is how israel will eat the foul bread in the gentile lands to which i will banish them see that and this is a similar tool somewhat, all right, of what the Lord was going to do with us. We were scattered as a curse. Now we're in Babylon the Great. And as a scripture, we're going to eat our defiled bread here. And as this prophecy speaks, it's like eating dung at times, all right, using it as fuel to eat the bread. You know, the things that we have encounter with the food here, you know, everything is GMO, it's uh, 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 antibiotics, you know, in the chicken. This is why these girls, these kids are here, they're, they're, them, they're five, six years old, and they look like they're 10 and 15, you know, um, because of the hormone, growth hormones, you know. And I said, 1976 Fair Use Act, I'm not giving no misinformation, no medical information, you know, at all, you know, not at all. This is for educational purposes only, all right? And um, so the Lord said, this is how we're going to eat our bread. So prophecy is being fulfilled, you know? And um, it's crazy because we got to look. You know, at, at, at everything, we got to look. Sometimes we got to look. You know, most of the time, you know, we got to cook for ourselves. You know, but, you know, this is this is this is what we, we, we this is a punishment. But at the same time, these are curses that are upon us, you know. And, um, you know, this just is going to be a quick one to the spirit, you know. Hey, soon, Yaharatza, Abaratza, you know, we're going to be eating. Oh my God. Can't even imagine how beautiful and healthy, you know, our food is going to be cleansed. The earth is going to be renewed. 
So everything is going to tilt and yield its fruit, you know, in a, in a, in a healthy, natural, organic, uh, beneficial uh, way. Everything's going to be grown naturally, you know, and it's going to be a beautiful time. We're coming to that time, a righteous kingdom. But right now, the same way the food is rotten, same way the kingdom is run by rotten people, all right? And everything is just distorted. All right. So call all Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honor to my apostles. That was a great millstone. Shout out to the overlay. Shout out.